Hi guys, I'm Ram Agarwal. You are watching my channel 52 Pixels. Let's get started. Hi guys, in this tutorial, we are going to see how to use the patch tool in Photoshop. So, well, we've already seen a brief introduction of how the patch tool works and how to use it but this is going to be a little more detailed introduction where we are going to see some different examples so today we are going to work with this image and this one over here so in this image as you can see we have this man and all these frames so if i want to remove the man what i can do is just go to uh, the i can go to the spot healing brush and then i can just heal out this man and it would work but if we, if we are lucky it would work only then but sometimes what it happens is that it just doesn't work that well and some parts of the image looks distorted and they, they just don't look that good so it's not overall a good option so and it's basically it's more of a struggle so for that we have got something called as patch tool so the patch tool is over here so if you just tap on the spot healing brush over here we have the third option as the patch tool so just go to the patch tool and we get this patch tool over here so if I just want to select this man, what I can do is just draw some lines near the man, somewhat just like this. Or you can just use the rectangle marquee tool, it's totally up to you. So now that I've drawn a line, what I want to do is just, I want to replace this man with the normal white background. So what I'm going to do is just drag this guy out over here. And as you can see, it is going to get filled with what I'm, what region I am selecting. So if I'm selecting this region, it is going to get selected and if I press ctrl plus D to deselect as you can see there is not a difference that we can notice and like it's, it's not noticed and it's very sharp and it's very clear so it doesn't look edited or it doesn't look bad basically now what you can do is you can also use the rectangular marquee tool and just select this little portion again using the same patch tool you can just drag it out over here I'm sorry go to the patch tool first now just you can drag it out somewhat like this over here and as you can see it is not working that well because the selection was too big so you have to remember two things that your selection should be appropriate size and it shouldn't be that big that it cannot be selected properly so I'll just press ctrl plus Z to undo and again I'll select with a smaller rectangle now so now I'll use a smaller rectangle of this size and now again using the patch tool I'm just going to drag it out over here somewhat just like this and now as you can see it has got camouflaged quite well it doesn't look edited some edges are looking edited so we can work around with that using the spot healing brush or different other tools using the content aware fill basically so this is one option or what we can do is create duplicate copies so for that I'll just revert the image back now if I want to re like duplicate this man walking what I would have to do is just select and I'll just show you. So I'll just select it using the patch tool. It can be a very blunt selection. It doesn't matter how hard or how good your selection is. Just the object that you want to select should be selected properly. And that's all you need. So now the patch tool is currently on the source mode. So what source mode is doing is just filling the object from where the source I'm selecting. Now I can just tap on destination and now it has switched to destination so what will happen is it will just get copied and pasted to whichever destination I choose so if I choose this place it is going to get applied with content aware to match the region and then if I press ctrl plus D to deselect as you can see I've got a second copy so it's that simple it's that handy and you can use it anywhere and with almost every object so accuracy is quite high but you, you might be thinking what, what is the use of content aware move and content aware scale them. So well these are also effective but then content aware as I already discussed it is not as good as this tool because patch tool is like it provides a good content aware selection while moving or pasting the image. So this is one really good use of the patch tool. The second use is that in this image if I just want to change so suppose just suppose that this model has some dimples or some you know deformities in the face that you want to remove so instead of using content aware or instead of using the 
spot healing brush or the healing brush and making the image look a little weird what you can do is just use the patch tool so using the patch tool just draw a little line and once the object is selected just go to source because we want to replace it with a good part of skin now i can just drag it out over here and as you can see it has got replaced quite well it doesn't look that bad now if i press ctrl plus d to deselect we have got a good pair of you know uh, a good skin applied to the selected region and we can definitely work on with that same way we can do the same thing over here as well again i can just select a little part from this skin and i can take it over here sample this portion and it is going to get applied over there again press ctrl plus d to deselect and this is what you get so it doesn't look that bad it definitely looks natural and it's basically a really good use of the patch tool and overall i prefer this tool very much while i want to use some you know if i just want to copy and paste some stuff over some other regions or if i just want to remove a certain region which is not able to be worked upon with the spot healing brush or the healing brush for that matter uh, the patch tool works almost 100% for some cases so well that's it for today guys if you found the video to be helpful please like the video and in case of any queries or suggestions please feel free to reach out to me through the comments with that being said it's me ram agarwal signing off for the day see you in the next one thank you Thank you.